that technology is going to kill us all. Uh, and I decided this when I was in an airport bathroom, and I bent down to tie up my shoelace, and the toilet flushed three times. <laughs> and I had two basic problems with this. Uh, the first one, apparently automation has got to such an extreme point that uh, even my toilet thinks it knows better than I do. <laughs> and my other problem with this is, uh, I've just been wondering, what, is, what could you possibly be doing two meters from a toilet which could ever possibly justify it continuously flushing? <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys know, I don't know if there's something that's been going on, but uh, yes, I have absolutely no idea. I think I've, I've come to the conclusion that uh, people who've been creating new pieces of technology have just lost completely a sense of what people, humans, might actually want or need. Uh, and I had this thought again the other day when uh, I came across a new app, dating app, which has appeared in Bristol, uh, which is called Huggle. And uh, the basic concept of the app is that it's going to match you with people who spend a lot of time in the same locations as you, uh, with the idea that you're going to have like the same lifestyle interests. And I feel like there's one just blatant, glaring, steaming problem with that idea. And I'd always been under the impression that uh, the whole point of dating apps is that you're not going to match with people that you're going to run into every single day <laughs> for the rest of your life by the broccoli and Sainsbury's. <laughs> and my second problem with that idea is the fact that I live in a flat above a sex shop. <laughs> and I can't help but think that somebody is going to be spending 11 plus hours in the vicinity of a sex shop every single day, as I do, is probably not the person for me. Uh, as a society, as a modern society, uh, none of us really know what it is that we're doing. And to make up for that, we're just uh, massively overcompensating. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why it is that we've all decided that we all need to continuously be eating chia seeds and kale regularly in order to survive. But cats can eat the same nutritional pellets every day, and they're going to be fine. <laughs> I think that's just frankly unfair at that point. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I feel like humans, but humans essentially are just animals. Uh, I'm, at, at this point, I'm 18 to 90 percent sure that pinatas are just a development on a medieval party game where children beat a donkey to death for its meat. <laughs> <laughs>